Hey everyone, so you ever get in those situations where you'd really like to capture the whole page in a screenshot for, so you can put it in one of your classes or you need to talk about it on the board? And I don't just mean the whole thing here, but the scroll down style. Well, there is a way that you can do it. There are actually many ways that you can do it. I'm gonna show you one way and it's in Chrome. So make sure you have your Chrome browser open. If I wanna capture the whole thing, I can click on the three little slashes here on the right, the horizontal lines. And I'm gonna go down to More Tools and I'm gonna click on Developer Tools. And you get this wild bit of code that's the, basically the code for the entire page and whatever it's sourcing out. That's a lot. If, when you get sick of this, there's an X and you can hit that. We're not done yet. So we hit that, we went to More Tools and then went to Developer Tools. Then we'll go here and click on Run Command. So we're going to tell the computer what we want to do. And we're going to go screen shot. And the one that I want to pick is capture full size screenshot. So I'm just going to do that. And then it will uh, create a screenshot for me. And it'll ask me, hey, where do you want to save it? So I'll say I want to save it there. And I get my screenshot back. And there it is. Now in this version, it looks tiny but when you actually load it in somewhere it's not it's just trying to show you all of it at once and you can go in and depending on what program you're using uh, you can actually crop out all the little pieces the top and the bottom or you could keep all the ads in so people might buy uh, the local paper one good uh, additional use for this as far as i'm concerned is that i can get the value of, say I'm in Canvas and I want to give an assignment that I'm going to create as a quiz. I want it to self-grade basically, uh, but the assignment is not a quiz. I don't want to hide the question from students. So what I can do is actually go in and click preview, which I should have been on the other page to do that, but I can click preview here and it will post all the components of the quiz with the questions and da 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 da. It doesn't give the answers obviously. So I could actually provide that as a document in Canvas or wherever, uh, so the students can see the questions. That way they can access the questions ahead of time. If they want to practice, they can. And again, I would just go to the three lines, go to more tools, go to de developer tools. So three lines, more tools, developer tools. Then you'll get this funky thing. Then I want to go three dots. So you go three lines and three dots. Run command. And then I just want to type in screenshot or some version and pick capture full size screenshot. And mine doesn't automatically go into the downloads folder. Uh, yours might. So just kind of be aware that that happens. And then on my page, I can kind of have my entire quiz there. And it doesn't say that size. There it is. I don't know what I was doing. Um, now I can see it in full size. And actually, when you post it, as a picture in a lot of programs, it will be a size that is reasonable and not that tiny little thing. Anyway, just thought I'd add that in there in case that would be helpful to you.